Scandinavian design and Scandinavian design trends are hugely uh, influential in the modern world. They're the kinds of things that show up in furniture design and you know I have actually a background in uh, IT and I see Scandinavian design all over the place in operating system interface design, user interfaces and web design. Um, it's just a hugely influential design trend and yet there's not a lot of watches that are kind of coming out of the Scandinavian region. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a new uh, Denmark-based micro brand called Norgreen and their Pioneer Chronograph watch. And I think it does a really interesting job of combining a really high quality product uh, along with that Scandinavian design language and heritage and then a surprisingly effective charitable giving program. Let's check it out. Everybody, I'm Dave. Welcome back to Just the Watch. And like we mentioned in the intro, today we're taking a look at the Nordgreen Pioneer. Um, I want to mention really quick right off the bat that Nordgreen is having a really big Black Friday sale, and they've given me a pretty good discount code. So for the Black Friday for this week, um, you can use the discount code down below for 35% off. I believe any watch in their site. Uh, it definitely will work on this watch, so that will knock the price down significantly. So I encourage you guys to check that out. One of the things that micro brands often struggle with when they're getting started is to develop an appealing and unique and valuable brand identity. I think you know not having that long heritage uh, that a lot of uh, more established brands have, um, it can be a challenge for a micro brand to offer something that is um, appealing and unique to the consumer. Most of the time what micro brands seem to do, at least the ones that I'm familiar with, is they try and offer an incredible value. They try and give you something that the major brands are, you know, they're trying to give you the same quality product that the major brands are giving you at a fraction of the price. Um, Nordgreen, I, I think, is taking a little bit of a different track. Um, their prices are fairly competitive with major brands, and yet they are offering a lot of unique things um, along with a, a high quality product. So I think in particular there's three things to consider if you're uh, looking at this watch, and those are the, you know, the, the quality of the watch, um, that Scandinavian design, and then also their kind of giving back program, which sort of took me by surprise. That was something that I, I kind of thought may, might be a little bit gimmicky until I actually uh, looked more into it and got the watch and actually got to go through the process of um, using it. I actually really liked it, so I'll talk about that at the end as well. And I think if you take those three things together, they're offering a really um, unique product uh, to, the, to the market and you know, for, for both watch lovers and for just people who want a, you know, a nice high quality watch on their wrist uh, and have a little bit of that interest in some of the extras that they're offering. So let's go ahead and jump through the watch, take a look at it, kind of evaluate it from those three areas and we'll wrap it up at the end and talk about you know, whether I think this is a good value or how it all comes together. I do want to give a big thanks to Nordgreen for sending this watch out. This was a watch that is sent in for review and it was sent in for free and I get to keep it. So keep that in mind as I go through the review. Um, also, as mentioned, there is a uh, discount code for Black Friday down below. If you do use that code, um, it is an affiliate code. Um, I will get a small commission for uh, anything purchased through that. So appreciate it if you guys do use that, but it is also a really good discount code as well. So if you're interested in this watch, um, really encourage you guys to use that code. Let's talk about the dimensions and specifications of the watch. Um, so this is a 42 millimeter diameter chronograph watch, 20 millimeter lugs, 46 millimeter lug to lug, 12 millimeter height, and that height includes a domed sapphire crystal, which I think is one of the um, standout features of this uh, watch. Um, inside you've got a Miyota chronograph movement that is highly accurate and easy to use, reliable. Um, you know, it's not a Mecha Quartz, which, you know, in this price range, that might have been kind of a cool addition if you like Mecha Quartz. Uh, as I've seen in, in the previous uh, chronographs I reviewed, the Spinnaker hole, there are some drawbacks to the Mecha Quartz movement, so that may not be for everyone. 
Um, I feel like this Miyota chronograph movement, while not as cool, is probably going to be more reliable and a little bit um, less maintenance than a Mecha Quartz might have. 50 meters of water resistance in a full stainless steel case. So overall, the watch is, feels like a very high quality watch. It's got a good uh, weight to it, feels good on the wrist. Uh, you're getting, again, that dome sapphire crystal, which I think is just a, a really great uh, choice here and something that I always appreciate and don't always see enough, I think, from major brands. So to see that in this price range um, is a definite plus. Really high quality finishing, uh, very nice brush, brushed finish um, all throughout. Uh, again, very solid case, uh, nicely designed crown and pushers. Um, you got a nice signed crown there as well. Again, I think the build quality here is comparable to what you would see from major brands in this price range. So I think they did a, a really good job there. One of the things that I was, was actually really impressed with was the customization options that they offer on this watch on the website. Uh, so this watch comes in uh, three different finishes. You can get it in silver, uh, gunmetal, and rose gold. And then it also comes in three different dial colors. You can get in white, blue, or black. And then they have a whole ton of different strap options. And that's something I really wish um, I'd see more from other watch brands um, to be able to have that level of customization. Um, it's almost like picking a, like a, an entirely different watch, just the, the different ways you can customize it. I spent a lot of time on the site going through all the options and finally wound up choosing this gunmetal color with the white dial and the blue uh, navy strap. And I think it looks really sharp. Um, but you can, you, know, you can go with like a gold tone, rose gold with a rose gold uh, mesh bracelet and a black face and get a, a, a totally different looking watch. Uh, and so that's really cool. I, I love how many different customization options that they offer. Uh, and so I think, yeah, I, I wish I would see that more from other watches. You know, so often it's like, you know, you don't have any choice on the strap and you get a strap that you don't want and you're just going to throw away and, you know, replace anyways. Or, you know, you, you might want a different dial color. This one, they give you a lot of different options in customizing. And I think that's just a, a really great bonus there. The strap is uh, decent quality. Um, you know, it's a, just a nice genuine leather strap. Uh, it feels good on the wrist. It's, it seems to be breaking in pretty well. Uh, it, it did feel a little bit squeaky at first, but that seems to have kind of worn off. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, decent strap. You're getting uh, matching hardware with the case color that you, fin you, then you pick, so that's always nice. I got a gunmetal uh, buckle here. As you can see, it's also a signed buckle. So components and build quality. Um, Really good, I think, again, what you would expect from like major brands in the same price range. They're not offering anything radical at this price range, but again, it's a, it's a solid, well-built watch. And I think that's, again, what you would kind of expect for, for something in this price range. And one of the areas that I think is, is really unique about this watch is the design. So again, Nordgreen is a company that's based out of Denmark and they are extremely proud of their Danish heritage. They have, uh, they talk a lot about it on their website and yeah, they, they feel, it almost sounds like they're trying to cram uh, their entire Danish culture into this watch. And so that's kind of cool to see that sort of cultural pride. Um, but they do have something to be proud about. I mean, Scandinavian design is hugely influential and you don't really see that uh, very often. Um, just to kind of a quick example that you can kind of see real quick after this. You know, when I first look at this watch, the thing that I thought of is it kind of reminds me of like a smartwatch. It's like very futuristic looking, um, hyper modern. But I think the reason it reminds me of a smart smartwatch is not because this watches copying smartwatches is because smartwatches and computer technology and user interfaces has been so influenced by Scandinavian design. You see this kind of really clean, modern, minimalist uh, design in a lot of computer interfaces. And that's coming out of the Scandinavian design uh, that this watch's heritage is kind of based out of. Um, another thing that I think that they did was really cool is they, they hired one of Denmark's uh, most well-known designers. They've uh, got Jacob Wagner to do the designs on their watches. Um, he's very influential in Scandinavian design and product design. Um, he has a, you know, some of his products are on permanent display in the Museum of Modern Art. Uh, so they didn't just try and, you know, kind of copy the design language itself. They actually went out and got um, a pretty well-known designer um, to be the guy to design the watches. And I think that um, helps a lot in, you know, really, you know, if, if you want to do a watch that has this uh, sort of heritage, um, one way to do it is to get a, a designer who's renowned and well-known uh, to do it. And I'm not a, a, you know, a design guy, so I can't fully appreciate that. Um, I can tell you it is a nice looking watch. It does look very modern, very clean, um, very reminiscent of other Scandinavian design uh, things that I've seen, which again, there, there's a, a lot of them out there. Particularly for me, the things that I really like about it, um, the kind of bowl-shaped uh, sub dials I think is really cool. It adds a lot of depth 
uh, to the watch while being very clean uh, and minimalist at the same time. And then also the same thing on the date window, you've got this sort of bowl that goes down, um, very unique there. And then uh, the chapter ring kind of rising up out of that. Lots of really, you know, just a really clean, fresh design. Um, I really like the, uh, the handset that they've used. So really uh, kind of nice curved uh, handset, very soft, but you know, as, as it goes, as the, particularly when the chronograph second hand is going around, um, at a lot of angles, it does kind of remind me of like a windmill, which they said was one of their inspiration uh, for the watch. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of can see that. And at certain angles, you see the three hands when they line up in certain ways, it's sort of reminiscent of that. Um, but yeah, very, very clean, very fresh. I mean, like, so, so three of the main sort of tenets of Scandinavian design is that it's supposed to be functional, beautiful, and minimal. And I think they really nailed that. Um, the functionality is definitely there. You know, everything is very clearly marked. It's very easy to read, high legibility. You can see the markings around the uh, minute subdial or the minute counter subdial is you know very detailed, and so you can clearly read which minutes are there. Um, you know the, the second markings are all very clearly defined. It's just very easy to read, and yet it is very clean, and it does have a very kind of beautiful look to it. Um, I like the uh, case design, the nice rounded case design. Um, you know with the lugs kind of gently coming out of it. Um, lots of smooth curves here. Um, very soft kind of look to it, and I think it comes together really well. Now, one one area where I think they could have done more and probably should have the the one you know kind of negative I think to the design and the the build of this is that there is no loom at all on the dial, and I could I could kind of see that as acceptable if that was part of that design. If if part of their design language was they felt like the loom was going to sort of clutter the watch up or something, and they they wanted to go for a cleaner look. Um, and that's why they left it off. I could see that, but they've actually got this kind of white paint on there to help with legibility and the markers you see, you know, it looks like a watch that you would expect that to be loom there. So it's, there's no reason not to include loom in the design, I don't think, um, but they, they chose not to. Um, and I wish they would have put some loom in there. Um, it's not a, a deal breaker on a chronograph watch like this. You know, it's not a dive watch. Um, it's fairly common to see watches like this not having loom. But I think it would have been much better, and I think it would have, you know, really um, helped to justify the the cost a lot more if they had included uh, some loom uh, on the hands and markers. All right, now the third thing I want to talk about is Nordgreen's Giving Back program, which again is something that I I kind of thought might be a little bit of a gimmick. Um, until I tried it out. So they talk about this a lot on their website, but they, they really want to create a brand um, that has kind of this social consciousness. They're all about sustainability and environmental responsibility. And not only that, they've taken a step further and they're offering to donate a portion of the cost of the watch to charity and you get to pick the charity that it goes to. And they've picked three really cool charities, I think, uh, that you can choose from. And they have this kind of unique thing where you know you, you pick one of these three things and they give you a very quantifiable, meaningful way to understand what your donation is going to and what it actually uh, gives. And I'll let you guys go check out the website um, and you can you know see those three charities that they're offering. Um, and so the way it works is you know you get the watch and it comes with a unique serial number on the back of the watch. And you go to the website when you register the watch, um, you type that serial number in and it's going to give you the option to choose one of the three charities. And I actually chose the one that has to do with um, providing um, water in Africa. And I'd, I'd never thought about this, but it was, it was kind of an interesting time because my wife and I have been talking about looking for some new charities to kind of give to and to be thinking about. Um, and so it was kind of interesting for me to, to kind of have this opportunity because I hadn't really considered any of these. Um, the idea of providing clean water in Africa really resonated with me. And I feel like that's a, a big need for a lot of people in those parts of the world. And so I started researching the charity a little bit more and I was actually really impressed with this. I was really happy to, to choose that one and to click it. And sort of the unique thing that happens with that is after you pick the charity and you, you choose it, um, it registers your watch on Nordgreen's website. And so you can go back to Nordgreen's website at any time, uh, type in the serial number on your watch, and it'll take you back to the page and let you know which charity you chose. It'll give you a link to go um, to that charity's website to follow up with them. And if you want, you can donate more and support it more. And it was just such kind of a cool thing to have that tied into the watch on the very serial number on the back of it. And so it kind of felt like now every time I wear the watch, I'm sort of reminded of that charity. Um, not only the fact that by 
I guess in my case, I didn't purchase it, but by reviewing this watch, um, I supported that charity a little bit, but it's also kind of a reminder like, you know, maybe I should go back and, you know, check up and see what's going on with that. Maybe I should give a little bit more if I have the money. And it's kind of an interesting thing to have that kind of reminder on your wrist of not only that, you know, this watch has played a very small part in helping a certain um, group of people somewhere in the world, but also a reminder to maybe give more and to kind of get more involved and I didn't expect to kind of get sucked into that. Um, but yeah, I, I was like researching it and then it's like, you know, there's all kinds of opportunities to get involved with the charity. And I started, you know, just immediately thinking about more ways that I could help. Um, I haven't done any of that yet, but just the idea of it getting sucked into it and, you know, potentially that might be something that me and my wife will get um, a little bit more involved in in the future. Um, I thought that was really neat. And I, I, it, I thought it was really actually a, a meaningful way to kind of connect you to some other needs around the world. And you know, again, they have three different ones that support very different causes. And so probably everybody's gonna find one of those three that they're kind of drawn to. Um, and so it's kind of, again, it's a really cool thing. I like what they're doing with that. And I think it's kind of a, a cool way to get into it. So let's wrap it up and talk about value. So the price of the watch, uh, $280 is, um, I would say that's, that's kind of like standard retail price for like a major brand. Um, it's comparable to that. Um, it's not a particularly good value, um, but it's, it's not a, it's, I don't think it's overcharging either. I think it's just a fair price. Um, and so I think what you've got to consider um, is what, what, what do you want out of the watch? What, what is about this appeals to you? Because I think there's three, again, there's three things that we talked about that are important here. One is the quality of the watch. Um, two is the um, design of the watch. And then three is that kind of um, social consciousness and that identity of kind of being a part of uh, something a little bit more than just consumerism. So if I think I think if those other two things, in addition to the quality of the watch, really appeal to you, then I think it's worth the price. Um, and if you're only after like so, if if all you want is an is a is a high quality uh, quartz, nice looking timepiece, there are better affordable options than this. But if you are also interested in that Scandinavian heritage and the design language that they employ, and also that charitable aspect of it, then this is something that's very unique and you're not gonna see very many um, alternatives to. At the Black Friday price, this drops it down to I think around $180. Um, I think that's a really good price. I think that's really cool. Um, and I think at that price, it is it is a good value, even, even if you're just interested in the watch and it looks nice um, to get a, a chronograph um, with this kind of build quality and that sapphire, sapphire crystal for 180 bucks, I think is a, is a good deal. And so at the Black Friday price, if you like the way this watch looks, I think you'll be happy with it at that price. Um, and if you're also interested in those other two things, I think you'll be really happy with um, what you're getting there. I think it's a really good product that they put together. Um, but that will about wrap up our review. Um, again, big thanks to Nordgreen for sending out the watch uh, for review. And also just to note, if you guys do use the Black Friday code down below, that does result in me getting a commission for the watch. Um, it's an affiliate link, um, but it is a really big discount. So 35% off, they said is, is I think the best deal that they're offering. So I appreciate them for giving me that code to give to you guys, because um, I think that will give you better deals than most of what's listed on the site right now. That code is good for about a week. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. And as always, please drop me uh, uh, you know, any comments or questions down below. Let me know what you guys think of this watch. And yeah, we'll see you later.